Swiss, but that doesn't mean that uh, he didn't learn a thing or two from that matchup. He was telling us how, uh, how he thought Deshaun played really well in the match and how he was not expecting an easy match here in top eight. So as Deshaun Balak is the top seed, he will be going first. Both players look like they have their seven. Deshaun's already kept. Not sure about Caleb. I'm not sure if he's thinking about his hand or they're just waiting for the go-ahead to start. Yeah, Caleb has to be very careful choosing his starting end. He has to know that uh, Deshaun Balak can really, uh, out of the gates, just get him. Uh, Deshaun Balak can, can combo as early as turn two. Or even, tur even turn one on a good enough hand. But, um... Yeah, Deshaun, I think, just trying to keep, want to keep a hand that's fast, that has most of the combo. Yeah, we'll see what he has here. Uh, Turn one Scalding Tarn from Deshaun Balak. Yep. Caleb does have Force of Will in the opener. That's exactly what he needs. Deshaun has a daze, so Caleb leads off just on Basic Island. Yep, it looks like Caleb, those two altered cards are dazes. He has yep. a Force of Will, he has an Emrakul. So he's missing only one part of his combo here. And that's the show and tell. Yep. Has plenty of offensive counter magic, but once he draws that force of will, both, both uh, once he draws that that uh, show and tell, uh, Baylock should really be in the clear. Uh, Talisman by Caleb. Both players on seven card hands, by the way. And end step, Deshaun's going to crack both fetch lands, knocking himself down to 18. Life total's fairly irrelevant in this match. Well, Caleb's life total not very relevant. Caleb has to damage Deshaun, so damage will matter uh, on Deshaun's side. Right now. Deshaun Balak has to watch out though, because if he casts Show and Tell, he drops an Emrakul into play, and Caleb drops a Jace, of which there are three of in his deck, Deshaun's in a lot of trouble. Right. Jace, of course, would just minus one to bounce it back to his hand. And he's casting Days on the Talisman. Yep, he knows that these Days are not really gonna uh, be that great late game, especially if he lets Caleb resolve all of these mana sources. Is that a second Emrakul in Deshaun's hand? Yeah, he really needs a brainstorm. Yeah. Kevin cracked both fetch lands, so he has an Ancient Tomb, yeah, two Emrakuls, a Daze, and a Force of Will. So that second Emrakul no good. Another Talisman out of Caleb. Caleb has a Tesseract, a Force of Will in his hand, the rest of it unknown. And second damage there, Caleb is going to make Softer Foundry. Um, yep. Not particularly relevant in this matchup. No, nope, it, it'll make two one ones, and you know, probably eat, it might eat the Talisman, and Deshaun's going to Daze the Daze of Talisman as well. I don't know if I, how I feel about that second days there. Maybe we would have wanted to hold on to that. Yeah, I don't know. The Thopter Foundry, maybe Deshaun just wants to buy himself some time so that he can draw into a way to shuffle those Emrakuls back, or at least one of them. Uh, but there's a Burning Wish in his hand. Right, now that one's going to get countered. Um, that's how I feel like... So, Burning Wish for two. That's why I feel like Caleb would have wanted, or Deshaun would have wanted to have had. At least another days. Right. Caleb will let the days resolve here. At the burning wish, and so or, yeah, John's gonna wish. get gonna get the show and tell. He has, plays one show and tell on the board. So now he's, he has his show and tell. Caleb will put a tetherat into play off show and tell if it happens right now. I do not believe he has the chase. To Sean, ancient tomb can go for it this turn. It will not resolve. Caleb does have a force of will. Right. Deshaun wisely waiting oh. on. Good call. Planeswalkers actually can't come out from a show and tell. Uh, it's actually just crew, is it? It's creatures, artifacts, and lands, I believe. Or, and enchantments. Oh, boy. Yeah. Uh, the card printed before the Days of Planeswalkers, so it, instead of saying a non-land, instead of being a permanent to play, it actually lists the types, and as a result, you can't play a Planeswalker. Right, right. Yeah, so our mistake, yeah, you can't put in Planeswalkers off show and tell because it's an older card. Sorry about that mistake there. But, but, yeah, Tazaret is made on Caleb's side, and he's going to go find Baleful Strix. That will turn on the Force of Will that's in Caleb's hand. Yeah, it's a great pitch to Force of Will. The Baleful Strix is not going to do a heck of a lot in this matchup. Once again, here's where I kind of wish Deshaun Balak he's going to go for a show and tell. It's where I wish Deshaun Balak would have uh, kept up, hung on to one of some of those dazes. Right. And well, that'll get forced. And Deshaun has another show and tell in his hand. Yeah, it, it'll be interesting to see if he forces back right here or if he just waits until next turn. I would wait until next turn. Um, I think the best play here is for him to wait. He can go for it again next turn. As long as he draws another blue card, then he will be fine. You know, then, then he'll have basically asked Caleb for yet another counter spell. Right. Of which he only has three. Three more. So he's, but Sean's going to go for it right now. He's going to force back, brings himself down to 15. And that will resolve. All right. So show and tell. 
resolving. Uh, Caleb has a worm coil engine. Unfortunately, oh. worm coil doesn't fly. Caleb also has a Jason hand. So the Strix, the Death Touch Strix, and Emrakul make the battlefield. So the Strix can actually trade with the Emrakul. <laughs> um, sort of. Well, it'll, it'll be in Caleb's entire board. So, but Deshaun, um, right now his hand is another Emrakul, and that's it. So Deshaun would have to find another show and tell to then win the game. Right. I think Caleb is about to slam a Jace, unless I miss saw the card in his hand. No, I think that's a Jace. He can even play around days here. Yeah, and Jace the Mind Sculptor. Down for Caleb Durward. That should get him this game. Jace. Remember, Jace can unsummon Emrakul. Yep. And Deshaun with very few outs now. Right. Yeah, for a Jace, for him to deal with the Jace in the main deck, there really are not many ways. He would have to Burning Wish for something like, let's see here. Uh, no, there's there's not a heck of a lot. And it's, it's really unfortunate for Deshaun Baylock that uh, he's only had two Emrakuls as opposed to getting a Gristlebrand into play. Gristlebrand, uh, a much stronger show-and-tell target right. in this two, matchup. Right. Two Emrakuls in the deck, two Gristlebrands. So right. got pretty unfortunate to draw both Emrakuls there. So Caleb Durward trying to steal this one away from Deshaun Baylock. I mean, he should be able to do it. There are not, yeah, he's going to start hitting for five. He has Deshaun Baylock on a, on a, as, on dead next turn, and there's not a draw for Deshaun Baylock that'll actually save him hmm. here. Well, actually, yeah, if he, um, nope, he drew a daze, that won't do it. Yep, and now it's simply a matter of animating his Strix and swinging in. Yep, so he passes the turn, Caleb animates the Strix, Deshaun will scoop. Game one, kind of a break there for Caleb. Good break for Caleb Durward. Uh, so, looking at sideboards, Deshaun Balak now has an uphill, uphill battle. He nods there, acknowledges both of, that, it's really that Jace that does it. But before we look at the sideboards, we actually have a trivia yeah, question trivia for question. you. So we're in our top eight. So we're going to bring you back back to the booth for a second. For those of you who are new new to doing cover, to watching Star City Opens, during our top eight, top four, and finals, between the middle of the matches, we give you a trivia question. Right. If you can correctly tweet the answer at hashtag SCG Premium, which is right listed there. right below, below our logo there, uh, you will receive a, a, some number of mo months of Star City Premium content. So since it's the top eight, we give away... Three months of Star City Premium exactly. for the correct answer. Three months for the top eight, six months for the top four, and the full year for the finals. All right. So our first question involves one of the decks in the top eight. Uh, and this is not a deck, this is a deck that we saw a couple rounds ago. It's the, the uh, Enchantress combo deck yep. of I Chris Anderson. He is currently playing in the bottom half of the bracket. And we are asking you, what new card from Return to Ravnica has Chris Anderson included in his deck? So it's in the sideboard, it's not a main deck card. Right, and now if, if you don't know it off the top of your head, you can go to StarCityGames.com, look at the coverage page. We've uploaded the deck list, check it out. All right. Make sure you tweet with SCG Premium. All right, and we'll announce the winner after the end of, after all the top eight matches have finished. All right, so with that, let's bring you back to our game. Uh, right now, Deshaun Baylock on the play, game two, down a game against Caleb Durward. Deshaun kept a seven, the, the, this last game, he was a little bit of a looser seven. He he had the Emrakul and a pair of dazes. I probably don't think the dazes were not. I don't um didn't end up getting the value that he wanted to out of them. Well, if he didn't use the daze to counter the first talisman, all of Caleb's spells would have been played with one extra mana up. So I don't know if he ever could have gotten better use out of them. Right. So say he counters the first talisman. Yeah. And then the second, then what happens is if he, he uh, waits and dazes that force of will, then he'll have a force back to force the jace when the jace comes down. Right. Now the thing about that is Caleb might then not have tapped out for the uh, the Tezzeret. So, but yeah. This is there's enough ifs in here that it's really hard to say how it would have gone. Yeah. Um, I agree though that the second daze was questionable. Well, the first days I definitely think was right. Second might not have been the right play. Agreed. So looking at the sideboard here, Caleb Durward, not really a heck of a lot. Dread of Night, Parish. I guess he could side in Curse Totem to make Gristlebrand not activate, though that's pretty niche. Uh, I, I think he'll do it. Um, there certainly are enough cards in his deck that don't do anything. Um, that you know, for example, the go for the throat in the main deck. There's nothing actually worthwhile to go for the throat in Deshaun's deck. Right. Go for the throat in Gristlebrand d d doesn't matter, no. and uh, you can't go for the throat Emrakul. Exactly. Emrakul has no throat. Yeah. Emer so Emrakul has no throat. Um, Vendillion Click will certainly come in from Caleb. 
yep. and probably the, tip, the pair of duresses. Definitely a pair of duresses. Graf Digger's Cage sure. doesn't do anything. The one pithing needle, though, and a second way to stop stop em Gristlebrand is probably also sided in. Uh, Caleb has a lot of dead cards, engineered explosives, ratchet bomb. There's enough stuff to side out that we should probably see him siding in a lot of these cards. Right. Caleb Durwood also, also has one ensnaring bridge that he can side in, so that's a great answer to Emrakul. Uh, Curse Totem is a okay answer to Gristlebrand, so he has answers to the creatures. He now, just has to get there. The bigger problem is that Jashan Balak will have four red blasts out of yeah. the board. And that's better than just about everything that Caleb Durward can muster. Yeah, two defense grid, four red blasts, probably all of these come in against Caleb. Yeah. Uh, kind of Caleb only has four counter spells, but the um, Jashan Balak really is going to turn Caleb's already meager showings against his deck into in even smaller ones. Right. Uh, outside of that, I don't think he, um, I don't think he sideboards in anything else that I can come up with. You know, one interesting card I saw in Deshaun Balak's sideboard is Time of Need. I, I actually had to look it up to make sure it's the card I was thinking of. It's yep. the Champions of Kamigawa green card that searches for a legend. So Time of Need is a sorcery in the sideboard so that you can Burning Wish, so if you have the other wrong half of the combo, you can Burning Wish for Time of Need and then Time of Need into one of your legends in right. case you're, you have the rest of the combo. Exactly. Now. The green mana can only be gotten off the Lotus Petals, but ideally, you'll just be casting it with an Omniscience. Right. So yeah, so if you, if you show and tell into Omniscience without, without the monster, you can go find one. Right. Probably a corner case, but I'm sure it comes up. Yeah, absolutely. So Deshaun will be on the play for game two, and uh, I think his deck gets better after sideboarding. Uh, yeah, I think th this matchup, I'd say, is probably 2-1 to one in Deshaun's favor and probably remains at least 2-1 to one post board. I don't think we're going to see too much of a percentage change. Um, Deshaun has to win two in a row. He, he is a favorite in both games. But, you know, Caleb, Caleb's already stolen one game, so now it's very possible Caleb could do it again. Right, especially on the play for a potential game three. Right. And as soon as we know uh, the results of any of the other matches, we will let you guys know. Right now, though, all still in game one. Deshaun Baylock, Caleb Durwar, they were the first game finished. Right, and a really quick game there for them. You know, they finished the first game in about six minutes. Caleb, Deshaun really going all in for the combo, getting thwarted, Caleb winning. Yep, so both players mulling over their hands here. Looks like Deshaun is really the one with the decision. Went for his deck there, thought about it, thinking about it. Probably pretty borderline. All right. Can't really make out too much of the hand there, but I think I see two dazes down there and definitely a force of will. And it looks like he's kept. Okay. I don't know, that, that's a mana heavy hand right there. Yeah. Deshaun getting a little gun shy on mulliganing. It's at five lands in his hand, or four? I can't, I think it's four lands, defense right. grid, force of will, and a blue card. Okay, so we're not, we're not positive if, if, he's, if he's, he might still be debating here. Um, looks like that Caleb hasn't picked up his hand yet, which usually means that uh, Deshaun is still contemplating a mulligan right. yet. And like we told you earlier, those two wrist braces from Caleb are from a competitive shuffling accident, in case you were wondering. Yeah. What's the longest you've ever seen a player tank for well, in terms of a mulligan? In terms of a mulligan, I mean, I, I only find people want to tank longer. Hmm. Um, typically, if it gets over 30, you know, 30, 30 seconds on a mulligan, I'll, I'll, I'll gently start prodding the player. Right. In an untimed match, I'm not sure. That I'll let it go longer. Yeah. Island, and then City of Traders for Caleb into Demir Signet. Wow, great opening for him. Yeah. Ancient Tomb, not exactly what Balak, Deshaun Balak was looking for. Uh, he has Omniscience in his hand. He also has Force of Will and Defense Grid. All right, so starting to set it up here. Yep. He oh. has the Force of Will. He has the Omniscience. He does not have weight, and everything else is a land. And uh, that's going to get forced. Wow, so Caleb Durward burns a Jace, burns a Force of Will. He knows he has to deal with that Defense Grid. Yep, I think he, he's got to be worried that if he doesn't do this, that Deshaun Baylock is going to just combo him next turn. Deshaun will let that resolve, and I think that's correct. Yeah, for sure. Caleb Durward only has three Force of Wills in his deck, and it's, that's not a card worth fighting over. He's happy to happy to get a Jason Force of Will. So 
three mana from Caleb, a fourth land sacrifice that. Is this going to be a second Jace? If it is, that is huge. Well, wow. That'll be forced Two back, Jaces. probably. I, I think if you're Deshaun Baylock, you, you, yeah, and it is a Jace. I think if you're Deshaun, you have to force back yeah, on there's, this. There's no way you can't do that. Even if you drew your perfect card show and tell next turn, that still doesn't do anything because you don't have anything to play with the Omniscience. And, and Jace, Jace will beat you. Right. You're, you're, you have to force this. As much as it's really painful to have, only have a hand, a hand of all lands, I don't think Deshaun can let this result. Right. Deshaun Baylock's chance is definitely a lot better if he forces it. He'll still have a lot of live draws, including Brainstorms and Ponders. Right, a Brainstorm will be essentially a draw three. Right. Caleb with two great hands in this matchup. Yeah, that's exactly what he needed here. Turn two Jace. Yep. It's huge with Force of Will back up. D Deshaun's going to have to counter it. I mean, he wishes he would have a card like Days to counter this with. Yeah, that would be perfect. Yep, he's going to do it. Force of Will, pitching Omniscience. Deshaun Bailuck dropping to 19. And Caleb Derwood has to figure that that's the only blue card in Deshaun's hand since he thought so long about that. Well, to be fair, if he had a show, he, he may have a third show card. If it was show and tell, Deshaun would probably keep show and tell. Here. Right. And Gris oh, Gristle Brand. Brand. Wow. Well, now he's one card away from getting the win. Yep. Just needs a show and yep. tell. Another wow. force of will for Caleb. Only three of them, but he's, he is drawing them early and often. Uh, Demir Signet into play. Pass the turn. Yep, and he will just keep that Baleful Strix in hand. He would love to pitch that to the uh, the Force of Will. More lands for Dijon Baylock. Remember, his deck is incapable of actually casting right. the uh, Crystal Friend. I see Baleful, Baleful Strix. Uh, Caleb does have a Tezzeret, so he has a very decent clock in this matchup. It looks like Caleb may be able to pull through on this. And wow. he's drawn all his Force of Wills. That is crazy. Three Force of Wills drawn and about 10 cards for Caleb Derward. And Deshaun Baylock just keeps drawing land. Yeah, really. I, I don't know. I don't know what if Deshaun really could have fought through this hand. This is a quite quite a winner for Caleb. Yeah, this is a monster of a hand. Caleb is drawing the perfect card every turn here. He would have loved to hit a fourth land, but I'm sure that'll happen with one of these two draws here: Baleful Strix and Draw right. Phase. And he'll pass the turn, Deshaun Baylock, uh, with Gitaxian Probe. That's a start. He really will not like what he sees. Well, probing on Caleb. Caleb's hand. Two <laughs> Force of Wills, two blue cards. Wow. And that's going to be hard to beat for Deshaun Baylock. Definitely. It'll probably start with something like a defense grid. At this point, Deshaun maybe wishes he'd have... Well, no, I want to say wishes he'd have forced back on defense grid, but then he'd be facing down on Jace. That's not any better. Nope. He forced on the right spell. So Drew omniscience... Me. Cost 10. Deshaun Baylock has 7. Could we possibly see a hard cast here? Uh, right. Well, Deshaun Baylock does. I mean, we, we could. It, it, it'll get force of build, but right. we definitely could. Oh, he's running Emrakul, too. Wow, yeah. just brick, brick, brick for One, two, Deshaun three, four, five, six, seven, eight man on play with 7 more lands. He could cast that Emrakul. All right. Could happen. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm, not, I'm not sure how that would, but he draws another. He's drawing 2 mana, 2 land producers. Uh, he drew he, oh, a complete break to Sean Baylock drawing days here. Wow, just really unfortunate luck in the top eight here. He hadn't lost a match leading up to this, but yet you have no, to think he's going to lose this one. That, absolutely. Caleb and his Tesseract deck uh, in total command. How does he do it? Caleb's Tesseract, going for agent the kill. of Bolas. Yep. Tesseract comes down, going to make the talisman a five power, swing for seven, then swing for lethal next turn. Yep. Sean Baylock gonna he, pretend he, to think like he's well, a force. He, he of could here. daze it, you know, to force the talisman tap. That buys him not even a turn. Caleb will animate a, make a Strix with five five. Make right. him, yeah, doesn't even buy anything. It's not a worthwhile play. Yo, know, and he doesn't do anything. Oh wow, he plus ones. I think he wants to. Yeah, plus ones. Maybe. Maybe he's uh, trying to set up an ultimate next turn. Possibly. Has um, ult yeah. Yep, so Caleb getting easy revenge for his loss in the Swiss. Yeah, he's... Hitting all three of his Force of Wills. No, sorry, he has, he has four. So he has four. He has the full set. Yeah, all four of his Force of Wills. But hitting, hitting them, you know, the, the a Force of Will into turn... Double Force of Will into turn two, Jace. Exactly. He hasn't even cast any Brainstorms this game. And only one Strix is going to get in for Caleb. That's interesting. I, yeah, Ponder out of Deshaun Balak. Caleb may just force this. 
doesn't have to. You can force whatever it finds. So we see Days, Jetaxian Probe, and Omniscience. Uh, one, two, so... <laughs> Deshaun Jackson, Deshaun Baylock, sorry, Deshaun Baylock is only... Um, he's on nine uh, lands. Son, yeah, only, yeah, he's only one lander from playing it, but he doesn't have the tenth land, so I don't think he can... Uh, no, I think you're right. I think he has to shuffle these away and try and rip something he can cast. Yeah. <laughs> Frustrating to be sitting on nine with this ten drop on top of your deck, but not much he can do here. Yep, I don't think... I mean, well, well, what he can do is he can selectively pick one of these cards and then shuffle the other two away, which he probably will do. Right. Now, we, we have an update uh, from our outer tables. All right. Looks like Andrew Schneider has prevailed over Chris Anderson. We're working on the, on the, the game. Entire ma the entire match? I just saw him walking away, and he gave me a thumbs up. All right, so Andrew Schneider winning presumably two games to zero over Chris Anderson will yeah. confirm if that Chris here. Anderson won even one game, uh, I think it would have lasted a lot longer. All right, so Andrew Schneider playing blue-red Delver will be into our top four. That means we will have a Delver deck in the finals as the, the right-hand side of the bracket. Three Delver decks and the blue-green enchantress. Uh, Chris Anderson not prevailing. Right. So Deshaun draws one card. I think it was the Omniscient. And now he'll shuffle it up. Or no, no. He didn't draw a card at all. He just shuffled his deck. That's not a fetch land shuffle. Yep. Draws off Ponder. Heal. Hit. Defense, <laughs> Defense grid. grid. I, I mean, I think you go for it. I don't... Yeah, you, you have to cast it here. It, it'll at least force a force from Caleb Durward. Possibly, possibly not. Defense Grid makes him cost three more. Is that Three correct? more. So if, if Caleb gets a sixth land, he can just let that happen and then pay the three for both the forces. Yeah. They still have. Suppose that's true, too. Not often you see a Defense Grid gotten around in Legacy. Right. Well, Caleb doesn't actually have to cast any more spells to win this game. That's true. He'll be able to ride the Tezzeret to victory. And it won't take long, he'll need two more attack phases. Two mana from Deshaun, here he goes, he'll try it, try see if it screen. resolves. Yeah, I, I think if you're Caleb, you're, you're fine letting this resolve. As, as odd as it sounds, okay, Caleb's not going to take the risk, he's going to force of will it. Yep, so Caleb Derwart down to one force of will. Deshaun Baylock, I think, can win this game if he draws runner-runner here. It would probably start with something like a Brainstorm. Right. But Deshaun going to think about this, at least bluff a force of will. Mm-hmm. It's very well done here. In terms of extra counters for the sideboard, he also has Red Elemental Blast to think about, so Caleb... While it seems to us like Caleb is for sure going to win this game, he can't be comfortable right now. Right, the red blasts are all, you know, are, are excellent here. Right, and they only cost one. So he'll ship it back. Baleful Strix untaps. Card drawn. He gets right. a Vault of Whispers. So Caleb Durward, another Talisman, just building his mana base more. He now has five mana up. He can cast a Force of Will. Right. Doesn't even need to RFG the Tez. The reason you probably wouldn't cast Force of Will is to, that doesn't play very well around Days, which Deshaun does actually have here. Right. Now, is is this a Tezzeret Ultimate? Yeah, that's, that's a lethal Tezzeret Ultimate. That's a lethal ultimate. Tezzeret Ultimate. One, two, three. Yep, that's enough. All wow. right, so Caleb Durward, two games to zero, defeats Deshaun Baylock. Caleb, moving into the top four, he will play the winner of Bernie Wen and Thomas Enavoldson. Yeah. Enavoldson. And uh, apologies. Really bad luck for Deshaun Baylock. Congrats on getting it this far, having no losses in the Swiss. Yeah. Yeah. We'll pick up the top eight, and uh, Caleb Derward onto the semis. So Omnitel was the deck that we predicted um, was, was really going to be successful here, but it's out pretty quickly, out 2-0. Yep.